Yo, what is going on you guys? I'm back with another video. As you guys can see right here, I just unlocked the Sharpshooter Pro Grand Badge. Um, I'm really happy that I got it. It took a lot of hard work. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to try to give you guys the best tutorial on how to get it. Because I watched so many while I was trying to get this badge. And I had so many questions just go unanswered. But anyway, what I did is just get all my badges to activate whenever I'd shoot the ball. So, like, first of all, some of the requirements that you're going to need to get this badge, you're going to have to have your um, overall be at least 86. Otherwise, they won't let you have it. I don't even know why you have to be 86 overall. Don't ask me. Go ask 2K. Um, and also, you want to have at least one badge on Hall of Fame. You got to have at least one. And I prefer, preferably, it should be either catch and shoot or corner specialist because usually those are the easiest shots to make and they'll help you the most. Uh... But like I said, what I did is I'd just shoot the ball and try to get my badges to activate, as you guys can see right there. A lot of times that included me uh, stealing the ball and running to the corner and getting an easy three. But what I what you'd really want to do if you're gonna try to get this badge is put your um, your time on 12 minutes for each quarter and then make it on rookie. Don't even try this like on any other difficulty, because if you do, you're gonna have a really hard time getting this. Like you're gonna spend so many hours being wasted so just do it on rookie grind out for like eight games which is i think how much i had to do because i literally dropped 130 points almost every single game just to get this badge making around 43s a game is what it took but at least i didn't have to spend like my whole rookie season trying to get this badge but anyway what i would do a lot of times is i just run to the corner i would call for the ball i'd get it and then i'd shoot the ball right away and i when i'd make it i'd have catch and shoot activate corner specialist activate and then also Deep Range Deadeye activate, but it, Deep Range Deadeye doesn't really pop up on your screen where all the other badges pop up when you're going to make a shot. I really don't know why it doesn't, but I it does because I didn't even have it on Hall of Fame, but in this whole process I got it to Hall of Fame without it ever activating a single time. And the same is for Limitless Range, except it did activate all the time, but I ended up taking so many deep threes that I got it to Hall of Fame. But once you guys do all that and you guys get your... Um, once you guys just start shooting the ball a lot and getting your threes to go in with the uh, the badges activating, you guys should be set. But it, like I said, it took me around like eight games to get this badge. It's really helpful. It does. It did activate a couple times in the game, but it activates always whenever you get hot. So it like goes away, and then like I don't know, maybe like three or four minutes later, it'll activate again in the game. But it doesn't make you unstoppable as you guys saw there, because I missed that shot and it was a really bad shot. So. It's super helpful though, I wish I recorded this My Part gameplay that I had earlier, uh, or after I got this badge, because I got like a deep, a really deep 3 pointer from around half court to go in uh, when I got this badge to activate. So it's super helpful guys, trust me, you're, you're not going to regret trying to get this badge. It's absolutely awesome, and it's just going to take some hard work, but if you guys just grind out and do what I said, just go to the corner and catch and shoot. Or even deep deep threes, because you can get easy steals, especially if you have a uh, pickpocket, which isn't really that hard to get. You only need, like, what, 50? I think you have to poke the ball out 50 times, and you just get easy steals and just run to the corner. Um, but yeah, also, a lot of people say that there's some other requirements for it, as you guys will see right here in a second. Uh, you have to. They say you have to have all five badges, but I don't even have my mid-range Deadeye badge, because I never really went for it. Um... But yeah, it literally took me like 70 points a game just to get this. They say I had, my, I had all four badges on Hall of Fame. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second right there. I didn't have my mid-range dead eye. I didn't need it. So you don't have to have all five badges. You just have to have one at least on Hall of Fame. And then also a lot of people said that you have to um, get your, uh, what's called your mid-range or three-pointer maxed out. Like have both of them. But I only have one. I only have my three maxed out. I never even upgraded my mid-range like at all. I spent like what five or six upgrades on it and that's about it um but yeah, i do have four badges on hall of fame all four of those so that's really what helped me to get these badges so the more hall of fame badges you have the more better it is also if you look at your career stats a lot of people say you have to make around 700 three pointers but i only made uh 532 and you have to have like 1300 attempted but i did not so it's not necessarily how many threes you make it's more so how many times you get your badges to activate because if i'd like drop 43s and i'd get my badges to activate around three times on almost every single three then i'd basically get my badges to activate around 120 times every single game and so if the requirement is like 1000 times that your badge activates then i got over that pretty quickly as you guys will see right there with my stats and stuff so yeah a lot of the i'm trying to like a lot of these 
what's it called websites will tell you like their own opinions and stuff but you don't need that it's more simple it's just more so about getting your badge to activate here you see my mid range is only a 69 overall and my three pointer is maxed out so i would just recommend you guys buy like a 15 dollar uh, xbox card and just max out your like rebounding and stuff and you're like post scoring a little bit because those are and your defense too because those will upgrade your guys overall really fast so if you're under 86 overall you can just do that and that would help your guy out really good but anyway you guys i hope you guys did enjoy uh leave a comment below if you're like having trouble with this and i'll try to answer you but anyway it's rnf here god bless every single one of you guys and i'm out peace